Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create such holes using the path deform modifier. The great thing about uh, the path path deform modifier is that uh, after we apply it we can still move the path that that is determining the the shape of the these holes with just moving these vertices of the line that is using used as a path so let's get to it so here we have uh, this base shape created just a simple cylinder the path using the uh, the line in splines and another cylinder with some modifications and mesh smooth applied to it. So uh, after we have the path created and the model that we are going to bend uh, on this path, we just select model and go to world space modifiers and select the path to deform. Then we're going to pick the path and move the path. Now we have this nice transition of model to the path. Uh, normally it doesn't go <coughs> this smooth like here. We have something like like this, so the part is not uh, completely uh, completely shaped to the path. So we have to stretch the model to make it the whole one. With the percentage we move uh, the position of the starting and the ending point of the hose in this case. So if we leave it at zero it starts at the beginning of the line and ends at the end of the line. So this is pretty much it. If if we don't like the size of the hose, we can still deform it using the using the select a union from scale, for example. But then we have to make the adjustments for the stretching part. So this is the end result using the path modifier in 3ds Max. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, and till next time, bye.